Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with the help of these uh, nitrogen fixing bacteria, the atmospheric nitrogen will get converted or will get fixed to the soil into more usable form. So what, what will these biological, now as a result of nitrogen fixation, what will happen? The atmospheric nitrogen will get converted into ammonia. So this, this will happen, whether it happens by uh, atmospheric fixation or industrial fixation or biological fixation, but the end result of nitrogen fixation will be that the atmospheric nitrogen will get converted into ammonia. Now the next step that is nitrification. So what is nitrification? Nitrification is the process in which the ammonia gets converted to nitrite and then to nitrate. So that is nitrification because now we have learned that plants can cannot utilize atmospheric nitrogen. Plants can utilize nitrogen in the form of nitrites or nitrates. So therefore it is important that the ammonia also gets converted into nitrites or nitrates. So now you might be thinking that who does this nitrification that is okay so um, uh, atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia was done by the biological uh, fixation maybe like the rhizobium but who does conversion of ammonia to nitrites and then to nitrates. So basically this process is also carried out by prokaryotes. So prokaryotes are the simpler organisms which um, like we must have studied about this right prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Eukaryotes they have uh, more they are more advanced they have more uh, compartmentalization where they have different cell organelles performing different functions. Whereas in case of prokaryotes, you really do not have so much of distinction between each and every organelle of the cell. So under the prokaryotes come the bacteria. So this process is also carried out by uh, some of the bacteria and this is an aerobic process which needs the presence of oxygen. So presence of oxygen is needed for this process. So let us look at the overall process so far. So we saw that the atmospheric nitrogen got converted into ammonia and this process was called nitrogen fixation. So this process now, this can happen in three different ways, atmospheric fixation or industrial fixation or biological fixation. So the biological fixation is carried out by the symbiotic bacteria which are present in the uh, root nodules of leguminous plants. Now this ammonia then gets converted into nitrites. So what, what are nitrites? NO2 minus these are nitrites and these nitrites in turn get converted into nitrates that is NO3 minus and this entire process where ammonia is getting converted to nitrites and then to nitrates this is our nitrification. So we can say that nitrification is a two step process where in the first step ammonia gets converted to nitrite in the second step nitrite gets converted into nitrate and this nitrate can then be utilized by the plants because this is now in the usable form. So this entire so one cycle or one flow is done one portion of the entire cycle is done. Now what would be the next process the next process is denitrification. Now the name itself says tells us that this is just the opposite of nitrification. So in this process, what's going to happen? So just the opposite of nitrification. So here nitrates get converted to nitrites and nitrites in turn give get converted to the atmospheric nitrogen. So nitrates is NO3 minus this gets converted to nitrites which is NO2 minus and this NO2 minus then gives oxides of nitrogen and from this atmospheric nitrogen can be released to the atmosphere. So denitrification is just the opposite process of nitrification. So it is the process by which the nitrites can be converted back into atmospheric nitrogen. 
However, in this process, there are certain intermediate products like even though you started with nitrites and nitrogen is your final product. So this is your final product, the atmospheric nitrogen. But there are certain intermediate products which are formed here. For example, these gases like the oxides of nitrogen like N2O, NO, these are the gases which are the intermediate products. And the worst part is that N2O is a greenhouse gas. Now what is greenhouse gas? You will learn a little later when we talk about the greenhouse effect in more detail. So this is a very poisonous gas basically because these gases can lead to uh, air pollution. So they cause pollution. So they have a tendency to react with ozone and cause air pollution. So that is the disadvantage of this process that during the course of this process some harmful gases are released as intermediate products. So therefore these, harm, these intermediate products can cause pollution. So this is the major disadvantage of the process of denitrification. However, this process also has an advantage. It plays an important role in wastewater treatment. How? That's because this process now in wastewater, there is a lot of nitrates present in the wastewater. So we want to remove the nitrates from the wastewater. So by this process, the unwanted nitrates are removed from wastewater. Therefore, it reduces the chances of algal blooms. So algal blooms we discussed right? due to the excess presence of nutrients, right? like due to the excess presence of nitrates or phosphates, algal bloom takes place. So by this process of denitrification, the excess of nitrates can get converted to nitrogen, atmospheric nitrogen. Therefore, the possibility of algal bloom can reduce. So in that way, it helps in wastewater treatment. But on the other hand side, because of the intermediate products, it adds to the air pollution. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.